So we've got a shift here, and all we need to do is apply the graph translation rules that we know so well in order to make G shift over to where F is, right? And so let's just quickly review the rules. If I want to go up one, say, then I'm going to have a plus one on the outside of the argument. So let's just, just a general thing, we're going to have a H of X plus one. That's going to move up one, right? If I want to move down one, that's going to be H of X minus one. I'm using H of X because it's not in the problem already. But I just want to use examples here. If I want to go right one, I do H of X, and this is the one people always screw up. H of X minus one inside the argument is going to move the function H one to the right. And people always think minus moves to the left, but no, it moves to the right. You can either memorize that or you can memorize that. <laughs> it's not necessarily intuitive. I have a bunch of different ways I like to think about it, but really the best thing is just to memorize it. Um, if I want to move left one, then uh, once I know the right one, then left is easy. H, X, plus one inside the argument, right? So that's what, that's the rules. This function, G, is one, two, three, four, up from F, and one to the left of F. So to move G to F, right, so I want to define the relationship between F and G and all my answer choices say F of X equals G something. I want to move G down to F. That means I need to go four down and one to the right. So that's going to be G, one to the right is going to be X minus one. Four down is going to be minus four. G of X minus one minus four is going to be F of X. And that's this choice here. All right.